The Wayne Finger Lakes region is made up of 25 school districts. It runs the gamut of the most rural to some small city school districts. What we struggle with differently in a rural area versus an urban area is the resources and the lack thereof. I think you could take a look at all 25 of our school districts and find that we have similar goals but different pathways to reach those goals. A BOCES uh, is an educational service agency. The role is really to provide a way for districts to collaborate for services that they couldn't afford by themselves. We wanted to create something that was new um, and individual for our districts as well as cost efficient. Could we put some districts together, have them collaborate in terms of helping to move personalized learning forward? Some districts chose to use the individual method or what we call one-on-one, -on -one, while other districts said we're very interested but we need to find a different model. And that's how the consortium model was born. Logistically we had to find common time, common space, common ways of teaching. Knowing that personalized learning and student-centered classrooms was our ultimate goal, being able to provide districts with opportunities for how to get there was very important to us. Share out what the biggest kind of takeaway from your conversation is. I can see what the kid's on, I can monitor it, but still he's where he needs to be at that moment. Starting this year, we have four more buildings coming on board and we have 75 staff members in that second wave who are about to begin their foundations training. So we'll have over 100 of our staff that are formally trained from Ed Elements that can reach out to each other. One of the things that I was overwhelmed with when I first moved um, to take over the role as the superintendent in Marion is how collaborative the region is. It's about how can we help one another and how can we learn together. This doesn't happen because of structures or budgets or of that sort of thing, but it's happened because of the collaborative nature of the region. The 25 superintendents within the region meet monthly. Curriculum and instruction leaders meet monthly. Principals meet together monthly. And having those conversations in those groups has been a really safe place to learn more about what personalized learning is. I'm the only seventh grade math teacher at Dundee Center school. So if I'm looking for a new approach to a specific topic, there's really nobody for me to go bounce ideas off of. The idea that I can email a teacher from Marion and say, listen, you teach seventh grade math too. What strategies are you using with your kids is a really powerful thing. It was exciting to know that us as a group would be coming together, be able to share ideas. And it's a great sense of pride when you see your students taking part actively in their learning and making those choices and expressing themselves and just having the opportunity to engage with content in a different way that they hadn't had before. It's really increased their confidence as learners and by increasing their confidence, they're able to take more ownership in their learning. Life isn't gonna come down to me getting a lecture all the time. It's not gonna be me being spoon fed over and over and over again until I get it right. A lot of it is self-discovery and a lot of it is going out and doing things myself. Personalized learning allows me to learn how I do that best. We didn't have any problems getting new districts to join Wave 2. They're enthusiastic about it because they've heard from their colleagues how successful it's been and how much they've enjoyed the experience. I can't even imagine what our possibilities are because they're really endless with this work.